Hello, people of the future. It is I, Phonix. And I have returned to the New California Wasteland today. In order to... Finally... Encounter the Enclave. Hopefully me and my crew, we can... Overwhelm them with overwhelming charmingness and... Take them. I guess this is like the North California Wasteland, like if you look at the world map. Because like everything that was on the North is on the South now. That was in Fallout 1, so... And then like New Vegas would be like way East, I guess. And then the, the other ones are like on the opposite side of the continent. So I need to talk to this Brotherhood of Steel guy for the mission. Okay, hello, Phoenix. A second. What can I do for you? You can start by answering some questions. Nothing. But I'm not going to say nothing. Okay, how do you know who I am? We know many things. Uh, okay. Who are you guys? We are a paramilitary organization, organization known as the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, fuck. Okay. And what is it that you do? At one time, we were the sole bastions of technology left on the planet. We set ourselves up as could what be best called technology police. We hoarded the old knowledge and doled it out only in small parcels. Of course, it was only to those who we felt deserved it and had the wisdom to properly use it. You said at one time, what about now? Several months ago, we came across a group known as the Enclave. Much to our surprise, their level of technology surpassed even our own. We found this quite disturbing and considered contract con contacting them. <laughs> contracting them to just contact them. It's like, hey, well, we'd like you to do a job for us. It's like, uh, I don't know. The Enclave would be like, who are you? What, how are you on a radio? Aren't you supposed to be... Every, isn't everyone supposed to be back to the Stone Ages except for us? I'll explain the difference between the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel later, I guess. Okay, we found this quite disturbing and considered contacting them. However, we decided on a more cautious course of action until we could determine exactly who the Enclave was and the underlying purpose of their organization more. To this end, we have reactivated small outposts near areas of Enclave activity from which we can safely observe them. Currently, we have activated such outposts in the DEN, the NCR, and here in San Francisco. Sounds interesting. What have you learned? We have found that the Enclave deals heavily in chems, weapons, and slaves. However, these are simply trivial pursuits leading up to some higher purpose, which we have failed to uncover. We are still watching them. Before we go any further, why tell me all this now? The Enclave has developed vertebrate technology, flying machines, that allow them to move deeply into surrounding territories. Without similar technology to counter this threat, the Brotherhood would be unable to stop an invasion launched by the Enclave. We need to, to have vertebrate technology or a viable counter to it for ourselves. You could just shoot it with guns. They're like little helicopters. I mean, they're not, they don't have big armor. Now, recently, the Enclave established a base north of here called Navarro. It's used as a, as a stopover point for the maintenance and refueling of vertebrates. It's my belief that such a base may have complete technical plans of the vertebrates. All I need is for someone to infiltrate the base, steal the plans, and bring them to me. Well, that sounds really easy and, like, safe. Like, there's no chance you're just going to get murdered by a bunch of armored soldiers with, like, really powerful energy weapons. Let me guess, you want me to infiltrate their space for you is the only thing I'm allowed to say. Let me be frank with you, Brotherhood, or Phonix a second. The Brotherhood of Steel is not the power that we once were. We believed ourselves to be the sole source of technology left to mankind. Secure in this belief, we had let our order decline over the years. Now we don't have the resources at our disposal to deal with the Enclave. We need your help. I am prepared to make you an, this offer. 
Prepare, perform this mission for me, and I will grant you access to our facility here. The best of the Brotherhood technology will be made to you, available to you exclusively. What do you say? I'll think about it. No way. Find yourself a new chump. What the hell? I must be crazy, but I'll do it. Those are the three options. Excellent. Here is what I need you to do. Go to Navarro, infiltrate the base, and recover the technical plans for the Ritterbirds. Return the plans to me. Alright, but, uh, just how do... How do you think I go about this? Should go about this? How do you think I should go about this, is what I should say, but that's not what it says. Just... This is a military base, after all. Fine, I'll get out. Would military bases really have that reputation in the post-apocalypse? No, whatever. I'm metagaming, I guess. Navarro is relatively new and not fully staffed as yet. My sources tell me that they... No, they're metagaming. But, like, they're referring to information outside of the game. But it doesn't really matter. I'm being stupid about it. <laughs> they tell me they receive new recruits from time to time. Perhaps, if you went in alone, you could pose as a new arrival. I would sh suggest that. You could have your friends wait here. I could say alright, or I could ask about his sources. Who would they be? I had an operative go and scout the base. Her reports recently stopped. I can only assume the worst. Please be careful, Phonix, a second. I don't enjoy sending people to their deaths. I'll be careful, thanks. Upon the successful completion of your mission, I will grant you access to our facility here. In the meantime, it would be best if you got started immediately. Thank you, Phonix a second. If I say this, I have to... Like, there's a glitch, I have to do it. Why is it no one around here mentions you? We've had a base here for years. By maintaining a low profile, they have the fucking symbol emblazoned in at least two places I can see. And it's like a bunker that looks like futuristic. <laughs> But whatever. <laughs> By maintaining a low profile with minimal staffing, never drawing attention to ourselves, we've achieved anon anonymity. Eh. We've achieved anonymity. We leave the Shi alone, and they leave us alone. Yeah, I guess I see what you mean. And then he just said, like, low pro profile and low staffing, so I don't really need to ask that. And I already asked that. If I say I've got to go. Okay. Yeah. What you be needing? So I need to ask these guys to leave. I should leave some of my stuff with them. Also, I should equip my weapons in case I run into enemies on the way there. Um. Probably won't need my sniper rifle. I won't bring this. I was gonna use that on weak enemies, but I'm in like the hardest area in the game, so I'm not gonna be countering weak enemies. This I can't use, so I'll give it to somebody. What you be needing? It only weighs nine pounds. That's not too bad. Okay, uh, I guess I should ask everybody to stay here. Yes, for looks a second. Uh, wait here. And then, that's it for now. What do you want? Um, I'll just here. stay here. That's it for now. What you be needing? Uh, wait here. These look like a... That's it for now. Where's Myron, baby? He's right here, yeah. Yeah, what? Can't you see him thinking here? Wait <laughs> Excuse here? me. Wait for you here? Are you kidding? Tell me you're kidding. I'll whoa, be back. Don't sweat it. Are you fucking it. serious? Whoa, whoa, wait. You, you keep me around? I'll do your favor. Huh? Well, what do you say?
forget favors and I wait here, you annoying pest. I hope I... It's just a little bit of, like, a little loot stash. It's not really that important. Well, to be fair, it has the other set of... Okay, okay, I'll wait here. It has the other set of, uh... Those glasses you have can only get by killing that one guy, I think, actually, but... If he doesn't give it, it doesn't matter. Like, our leader is stricken. What shall we do now? Who will lead us to greatness if Lopan is dead? Um, Lopan's philosophy was you were disgusting if you had to like rely on people. Well, not, not disgusting. I guess that's not the right word. What the heck? Should have clicked off of it and back on when I saw I was going to the. There we go. Don't think I have any room. Okay, so I need to do some inventory organizing. Okay, I have a bunch of crap. I'm gonna go leave it in the in the trees here. Okay, I guess I'll just leave it on the side of the road. Okay. Why the hell did the music just do that? Oh, apparently I can use a cosmetics case. That does nothing. Okay. That's weird. Uh, like, these aren't mementos of anything. This is the other vault, uh, velvet painting. So that's actually quite a lot of things out of there. So hopefully someone else can find those and make use of them. And I'll put some of this stuff in here. Oh, it's because my weapons are equipped. Okay, so I should probably park outside and not um, go right in. Okay, and I'm going to heal first. And then I'm going to save because... Um, like, there's always a chance of battles. Like, and if I don't have my posse, it, it might be easier, honestly, because I don't have to worry about them. But it might be harder because I don't have... Uh, Okay, and I will also heal while I am walking, so I can leave some health undone. I think I'll actually equip my weapons. Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> I hope people like my save names. I, 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 I tried to make them kind of random and silly, but I've never commented on it. <laughs> okay. I hope this doesn't put me... You know, it did. I gotta reload. If I'm not... I got lucky and I had no random battles. Ugh. Fucking aliens, man. Okay. If I run away... I can get a single aim shot. Oh my gosh, it has no accuracy. I always fight with a posse. Let's see how I fare against them. Okay. So far, not good. Uh, 
Ah, bad hit. Oh yeah, one of them was hit for 112. Because I've got the crits, as they say. Don't ask me who says that. And then I hit him for three. <laughs> it all averages out. Okay, there is a, this is a the dead end. I'm like, if this is a dead end, I'm probably screwed. Like, I think I could take some hits from these guys, and I have lots of health packs, but I don't want to waste them on this random encounter. So only that one was the little fuck. My chances to hit it will be maximized. There we go. Okay. So I guess I do have the stuff to, like, win battles on my own. I was gonna say, well, there was another game I had a playstyle like this, and I was just thinking it's not like it was Fallout 1. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, don't overwrite this game, I guess, so... Just, these are just random saves, anyway. I can't believe the last episode I was scrolling around with the arrows. I'm like, this is so slow. Okay, I'll, I'll go some distance away. Ah, fuck. Floaters. Are they getting two turns? I think they they are getting two turns. I moved so far. Fuck, how much was I hit for? Six? So it, that was a melodramatic reaction. It was like, whoa, you hit me! What the fuck? Real close, holy fuck. Basically straight down here, I think. Zigzag. Yeah, they got a zigzag too.
they might hit me this time. No, no. Five, that means I can move this far. I think I can do it. Because shooting them in the head is also profitable because it has a chance to instantly kill them. Like, the way that I'm doing it with the shotgun, it's going to take fucking forever. It feels like. That far away, I can shoot one of them with all, pretty much maximum accuracy. There we go. Oh, no, not maximum. Okay. But they'll catch up to me as I run, right? But not quite. Just, like, they're not going to get close enough to attack me, but they're still going to be right behind me. Nighttime lowers gun accuracy a lot. And of course, I'd never be able to do this with the uh, ranged enemies, so that's a part of it. And that's a bit of an issue. Like, I, I like. I'm not really proving myself, but I, I still don't have the best armor yet. I'm going to get it hopefully soon. Like, I. At least when you knock one out, it like... Why did it only like half reload? Am I out of ammo? Nice, I think that's a critical hit. Ten points, jeez. It's like a pistol that uses like rifle rounds, you'd think it'd be stronger. Like a Blade Runner gun is like a hand cannon, kind of like it's an automatic version of a hand cannon. I don't know where the ammo goes. I think it might have a cylinder or something. I don't know why that. It looks really compact. Maybe this is the ammo chamber? Okay. Three damage and also four damage. So basically, this battle's proved to me definitively I, I should be carrying around that upgraded machine gun instead of uh, this P90. This P90 will almost even be like relegated like that uh, Magnum pistol. It's just like. It's for weaker enemies, basically. Well, when I'm with my party, it doesn't matter as much. Because I won't like. Cause the only problem here is I need to be carrying more ammo for my shotgun. Because my shotgun is the only thing that can uh, melt these guys properly. And if I had my party with me, I could just run up to one of them and burst them, and then run away. And my party would kind of like I could hide. They could like there'd be more obstacles. This is just an open field, so they're literally just chasing me around an open field. Go. 
is hit in the head for 36 hit points with serious consequences to the con creature's continued existence. And like I can also imp employ cheap strategies like hit and run. Well, I'm fucked. If you didn't see that, I'll read it out for you. Okay, I see nothing out of the ordinary. It has 102 hit points out of 200 hit points. You critically missed and dropped your weapon. And your weapon dropped. You see 223 pistol, and then I picked it up. Oh, see, look, I'm already out of ammo for this gun. Uh, even at this range. What I need to do now is go into my inventory, equip my weapon. Uh, while I'm here, I guess I'll unequip this. There's no point in having the other weapons. Might as well reload it. Thirty damage, nice. Oh, it got me. Hit me for no damage. That one hit me for thirteen, bypassing my armor. more effective. Oh nice, it's coming to me. That's nice of it. Oh, it critically hit me for eight points. Poison me. That was nice of the game to just instantly take me out of the combat. Okay, I got 5,000 experience points. That's what I was kind of looking for, was XP. And I just wanted to switch out my... Or not, okay. Once I'm switching them out, I could take some stuff out, I guess. Like one of these, and then all... Oh, wait. No, there it is. This is a serious weapon that gets things done. Let me see my heavy weapon skill. It's pretty good. It's my speed chat. 82. Oh, fuck. So 50 weapon... Or 50 round mag, I guess, so that's good. And it's automatic. If it's like the other automatic weapons and it's half, that means I'll have eight bursts. And this is a serious weapon that'll get things done. Like, it, it's not... It's not like that weapon I was using, which is good for flesh targets only. Like, this one's okay. But it's basically just completely dependent on my character being like a crit based character. With better crit, I already did that. With better crits I basically have a chance to Like it it's a I think it's twenty percent because I also have a better Oh I have a the perk. Oh no. Fuck yes. Lone surviving dog. Oh, this is sad looking. What the hell? You see a regular looking dog that could expire at any moment. Oh, fuck. This dog follows you around and takes up one of your companion slots. Okay, it's not doing that. That's good.
I don't know how you trigger that, but I guess I didn't. I went to heal it, so I was being nice. I'll keep that one. Uh, I guess I'll do low pan. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to save again. That was a strange noise. I mean, it's just an empty field, but they're like, hey, how, how do we add some ambiance? Ambiance. Won't let me leave my car. That is odd. Base, we got an intruder. Sector 3 awaiting orders. Kill him, roger that base. Fuck. I can show you this weapon that's serious business, but I think I need to be close for it to be effective. Yeah, look at. 28% chance. I need the Bozar, but... Oh my gosh, there's one I missed. I was hit for 50. Someone else hit me for 15. Holy fuck. Six, didn't I? Yep. Oh, but it only uses ten bullets? Maybe because the designers knew there's only like. I'm dead though. I don't know. There's no point in doing what I'm doing. This game's glitchy, so I had to just check it out. Howdy, stranger! Whoa, baby, that, check out that set of wheels. Yeah, I tried to leave it outside of the place, but it wouldn't let me. Ain't seen one of those in years. What can old Chris do for you? Have you ever heard of the Enclave? Are they around here? You only have one chance to do this. Enclave? That a group or something? That don't ring no chimes with me. What you want with them? I wanted to join. Join up? You're a tribal. What makes you think they'd want a tribal? And his posse, no less. That's why I was trying to ditch the car, because it causes a glitch. I'm serious, I'm looking to join the Enclave. I'm serious, I'm looking to join the Enclave. Wait a minute, are you trying to say that you're one of the Enclave replacements? If that's the case, then why aren't you alone? I hired an ex escort. I am alone, but there's a glitch. Damn. Well, I'm sorry for the hassles. I suppose... I'm supposed to clear a bunch of newbies coming through here, but I gotta weed out the trash. Anyway, just go up the gate, through the woods there, and give him the password. It's sheep's head. Oh, and stay on the path. Thanks. How was your experience? Am I to the next level? Nice, I'm almost there. I feel like cheating because I didn't, like I was cheating on my allies. I don't actually see a path. Is this it? Oh, this, these rocks are the path. Oh, I got... Yeah, I was counting the experience I got just now, okay. I'm kinda nervous, this is like my first solo mission I've done in a while. I don't think I'm gonna have to fight anybody, but if I do... Okay. Oh, this is federal property. No admittance without proper authorization. Uh, okay, I have, I have my pass, it was right here. I actually read this last episode. I'm a new recruit. I told I was told you'd be expecting me. I see. May I have your password? Sheep's head. Sheep's head. One moment. Okay, you check out. 
Report to the drill chief. Go through the gate, past the kennel. It's the first door on the right. Okay. Pat. Doorway, guard. It's a vertebrate. It does look like a big metal insect. Why are you out of uniform? You're nuts walking around here out of uniform? Get suited up, okay. Big chance being under uniform. You better report to supply. Everybody really wants me to get into uniform. It's kind of weird. Actually, if you're a veteran to this game, like coming here is is almost like a hack. Welcome to Camp Navarro. So you're the new replacement. You are out of uniform, soldier. Where is your power armor? The base didn't issue any. They said it would be issued here. <laughs> so it so happens that you're wearing it. I'll take it off your dead body. What the hell? I wasn't issued any armor. I'll say the first one. It. Those paper shuffling jackasses. How the hell do they expect me to run this unit if they keep shortchanging me on supplies? Double time it over to the armory and get your issue. Then report back to me. There's <laughs> Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> You're out of uniform. Yes, everybody tells me that. I'm taking a big chance being out of u Yeah, okay. Go over to supply. Where is supply? Unless you're looking for the armory. Go back down the hall, turn right, and the first door on your left. You'll get your issue there. Thanks. Well, this guy actually told me. What about this hall? Oh, it's another elevator. So this whole place must be connected through under these, uh, this underground segment as well. This looks like it leads to their reactor. There's like some kind of circle there. Okay, I'm gonna go get what they're telling me to get, and they'll probably let me access more of the base. So yeah, one of the cheesy things about Fallout 2 is if you know about this, you can just come here immediately. If you can coerce the man in the front to let you in and that you're a new recruit, I'll just let you come down here and grab the advanced power armor. And in this game, you don't even need power armor training. Uh, these are a little excessive. What's my weight at? 183. Oh, yeah! Power armor gives you strength, too. Oh, do you know what I forgot about? I forgot about that rifle that can see well at night. I should try using that. OK. 
Okay, so everyone should let me walk around. Should I report back to the sergeant? He might give me some information. Because what I need to do is get the information I need to be able to tell people what they need to hear in order to give me what I want, basically. Okay, here's a ladder. There's a few things I need to do. Okay, that's where that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you get in. If um, if you can't figure it out, otherwise, you could actually get that suit of power armor just by killing the guy and going into his hut. Like all, he's the only person stopping you from going down the uh, that thing. I forgot about that. I remember when I heard that. I'm like, geez. So people who like. Like, once people have played this game, they can just skip to the end, almost. You just need a powerful enough weapon to kill kill that guy and, like, uh... Of course, it's always good to get the car. That takes a little while. Because otherwise, it'll take you, like, weeks to get down here, and there's, like, really tough enemies. You'd have to, like, save scum past them over and over again. Nothing to report. Okay. Oh, is that another Zax? I think it is. A large computer. A computer. I'm going to examine it closer. A large computer. Okay. Please enter your password. Try to hack the system. Shit. That is something I should have saved before doing. Yeah, they know I'm here. What I need to do is apparently not go and hack the computer. Oh, what's my science at? My science is good, but not that good, I guess. It'd be kind of cool if they had different ac uh, actual different scientific disciplines, but I can understand why a game would just refer to it as science. It's kind of symbolic, like I was kind of reborn on the Arroyo Bridge, and now I'm kind of reborn again. See, it's a it's a random chance, just like the guy outside. See, this is what they complained about in Fallout 3 when they were making New Vegas. They're like, we don't want it to be a random chance. Like, then people can just not put any points in and save and reload. Or they could put lots of points in and just fail anyway, because it's a random chance. It's kind of like the worst of both worlds. Okay, initiate welcome program. Welcome to the Enclave. You have limited system privileges at this time. For ease of use, the system has been equipped with a common English parser. Please enter all requests as English sentences. Where are the vertebrate plans located? <clears throat> Searching. Accessing current mil inventory records. Data acquired. Current records indicate that one set of vertebrate schematics are in stock. Four copies of the vertebrate schematics have been ordered this quarter. Four copies of the vertebrate schematics have been delivered this quarter. Three copies of the vertebrate schematics have been requested. have been reported lost this quarter. The vertebrate schematics are housed in maintenance. Fine, so where's maintenance located? Searching. Accessing base architectural file files. Data acquired. Maintenance is located above ground in the northeast quadrant of the base. Thank you. How may I help you? Where is the armory located? Searching. Accessing base architectural files. Architectural files. Data acquired. Armory is located below ground in the northwest quadrant of the base. Yeah, I got it. Uh, where is the base's... Base commander's office located? Searching, accessing base architectural files. Data acquired. Base commander's office is located at below ground in northeast quadrant of the base. Is everything located there? Either above or below ground, I guess. Where is the Enclave main base located? Searching, accessing geographical maps. Data acquired. Enclave headquarters is located 175 miles off the coast of California in the Pacific Oceans. Coordinates are 37 degrees, 18 minutes... North of latitude, 
by 120 degrees 7 minutes west of longitude. What the hell, what the hell does all that crap mean? Searching access English <laughs> slang dictionary. Data acquired. Translation follows. It's a long ways out of the ocean. Two. It's off the coast of California. Three. It's west of the city of San Francisco. Four. If you do not, do not understand the geographical coordinate system, then you will not find it. Oh. That's cute. It's it is like a Zax, except it's like a it's doing it in like um like when you asked it like this, it's almost like conversational. It's like it's a long way out of the ocean. It's off the coast of California. It's west of the city of San Francisco. So that might make it easier to find west of the city of San Francisco. If you do not understand the graphical geographical coordinate system, then you will not find it. How can I get there? Searching, accessing, transportation dictionary, data acquired, transportation files that indicate 120, 12, 1,257 methods can be used to reach Enclave headquarters. However, records also indicate only two of these methods are currently available. Vertebrate transportation can be acquired at Navarro Outpost. Ship transportation can be acquired at San Francisco Harbor. Please note that ship transportation has been flagged as inaccessible due to Security Act. Nine eight three seven three three four or dash three three four dash twenty seven A. For a second, I thought that was like slash four, but the they were together. But now it's an A. Ship has been disabled, and a pass key is required for reactivation. Base commander, viral outpost currently holds a pass key. Got it. How may I help you? I guess that's all. Thank you for accessing Enclave Net. Logging off. Okay, oh, I didn't get any experience for doing that. Let's see. Can I didn't get shot? Sorry, sir. This base area is off limits to base personnel. Okay. Looks like a bedroom. Those just... Well, those are tables, I guess, not beds. Maybe. Pretty... Like, looking closer, they look more like tables. Okay, what else is there to do underground? Sir, what is your business here? Oh shit. Ah, uh, never mind. If I need to get all that data again, I can. Hi, I'm new. Quietly. You must be lost, and this is the base commander's office. Nobody's allowed here unless the old man sends for you. Nobody sees him? Nobody. Well, it's just a cleaning crew. They, crew. they usually come by here. An hour or so. Other than that, this place is off limits. You better head out. Okay. It's cool they got to use it, like the same talking head a lot because the people in Power Armor all kind of look the same. you have good reason for it. just interrupting my work, soldier. I want to ask you some questions. Very well. I have to live with you, Grunt, so I might as well make an effort to get along with you. Who are you? My name is Schruber. Dr. Schruber. I am the base physician, among other things. Don't bother with your name, soldier. All you Grunts look the same in that armor of yours. Got it. What do you want to know? I didn't know there was a death claw in the other room. Apparently, apparently my character noticed it. What is this place? This was a basement lab. However, I feel that felt that my experiments took precedence over the minimum medical needs of the soldier here, so I had it converted into a lab. That's nice. So tell me something else. What do you want to know? Why is this room soundproofed? The course of my research have performed experiments on test subjects. Sometimes they get a little vocal. The base commander found this to be disturbing, so he had the soundproofing installed. I see. What's with the dog statue by the door? 
That is K9, my dog. I decided to see if I could cyber enhance his intelligence. It worked, but he developed a bad case of morals. He d decided he didn't like my work or me much, and he bit me. As punishment, I disabled his legs but left him pretty much functional otherwise. Now he gets to sit there and watch every distasteful thing I do. Can he be fixed? Oh yes, I removed the motivator circuit and gave it to Rawl up in maintenance. Could always be put back in. Maybe I'll do that some way, just some day, just to see if he's changed his attitude. All right. Um, what do you want to know? I can ask him what he does here first. I work as base physician, but that's just a sideline. Actually, I'm a geneticist. What's a geneticist? I really don't think you have the intellectual capacity to understand my work, soldier. Let's just say that I can customize people or animals. Yeah, I need to ask you a couple more things. What do you want to know? Why is there a death claw in the other room? Big, brown, and ugly? It's an experiment that I've recently completed. It's scheduled for termination. Why are you going to kill it? The Enclave has been looking for cheap, expendable soldiers. We are interested in Death Claws because they have built-in armor and weapons, and they're mean as hell. They just need to be smarter so they can understand commands, but not too smart or they'll develop a will of their own. With me so far? Yes, I follow you. Well, we su succeeded. Actually, we managed to increase our intelligence. However, I began to suspect that we went too far. That maybe they were a lot smarter than they were letting on. So when I transferred here, I brought one of them with me so I could put my theory to the test. And? I was right. The Death Claws apparently had been playing dumb, biding their time, and trying to learn as much as they can from us. They can even mimic human speech. I've actually had a conversation with that fellow in the next room. Anyway, the fact that they were capable of conceiving this plan and pulling off the deception just shows how dangerous they are. So what do you plan to do now? I want to write a report of my findings and have it transmitted to the Enclave. Of course I'll have to recommend the extermination of the Death Claw breed. They are too danger too are much too dangerous a threat. I don't want to kill the Death Claws, I like them. Say Doc, are you sure this room is soundproof? Of course I'm sure. The commander would have a fit otherwise. Why? If you think that was cold, yes. Yes, it was. <sighs> Doc wants me to kill the critter for him. He doesn't want to do it himself. Knew the bastard wouldn't have the balls to do it himself. Oh, no. It's okay if one of us gets fucked up. Oh well, go in and get good luck, soldier.
have to do it this way. There we go. Oh, they are beds. Greetings, human. I am the warrior, Zarn. Are you to be my executioner? No, I'm here to rescue you. I find it hard to believe that an Enclave soldier is here to rescue you. More likely, you are here to build up my hopes so you can dash them to pieces. Look, I really am here to res rescue you. You're my last hope, so I will place my trust in you. That door over there leads to an air shaft that exits into the woods above. I should be able to climb the shaft and gain my freedom. However, the door is securely locked and requires a pass key to open. Find the key, unlock the door, and grant me my freedom. Sure, I'll do it. I guess I should close the door or else I'll be suspect. Yes, soldier? What is this place? This is a computer room. That's a mainframe over there. The terminal, the interface terminal is next to it, and these devices are the holotape storage unit. This is the latest and greatest. So what do you do here? I'm the senior computer analyst. I get to maintain all of the equipment here. It's nice talking to you. Later. Please don't touch anything. Oh, I already did. I touched everything. Good day, soldier. Okay. I don't need to go in there. I already got my info. Oh, that, that's a commander, base commander's office, so I think I first need to... Like, there's a few things I need to do around here. Okay. I think that's everything I need. I needed to do underground for now. So I need to find that pass key. But now that I'm in uniform, I can walk around with impunity. Pew. Just realize that says Phonix too old. I'm not that old. Come on. So this is probably the garage they were telling us about. What's this guy wielding? Plasma rifle. Damn dark. Okay, I'm just gonna start talking to people. Yes, yeah, soldier, I'm here to. I'm new here, trying to get familiar with the base. Can I ask you some questions? Sure, I've got a few minutes. Uh, what's this place? This place is air traffic control. From here, we keep track of all vertebrate movement. All right, a couple more questions. What's your job? I'm a computer technician, first class. I maintain the link to the mainframe below. Good. Keep up the good work. What can I help you with? Where's the uh, Enclave main base located? Didn't you come from there? No, actually, I'm from up north. Oh, I didn't know we had an outpost out there. Anyway, the main base is off the coast of San Franaways. Well, how did we get there? By invertebrate, of course. There's no way... Other way, unless you had shi a ship. It's too far to swim. Thanks. What can I help you with? I, ne I already know where the vertebrate pr plants are. I feel like I have... If I ask everybody, it'll, I'll be more suspect. They'll be like, hey... Who do you think stole the vertebrate plants? It's like, oh, maybe that guy who went up to everybody and asked where the vertebrate plants were. And who was that guy? I don't know. He was a new recruit. He came in. He put on his power armor. And uh, I haven't seen him since. I guess he's been on a break or something. It's like... No one's going to believe that. Nothing to report. Shouldn't be at your post, soldier. It's not good to wander about here. Nothing to report. This looks like the mess hall. Hey, soldier. You looking for some grub or just someone to talk to? I could use someone something to eat. Well, here you go. 
Have some shit on a shingle. The snow and flies shits over there. Anything else? Shit, snow? What the hell kind of food is this? I'm sorry, you must be new to the army. Don't take offense to what I said. It's just not what we call stuff here. Shit and a shingle? Shit on a shingle is chipped beef on toast. Snow on and flash shit's just another name for salt and pepper. Really? <laughs> Got it, sorry. Let's chat while I eat. What do you want to talk about? What's going on around here? You looking for some gossip? I could give you the latest on what's happening to maintenance, midland, or among the grunts. Uh. What about us grunts? Ha! We're take talking romance, friends. It seems one of the computer geeks has fallen for one of our grunts. The guard outside the med lab. Even has one of them, those cutesy names for her. Calls her Snooky of all things. Cute. What do you want to hear? Uh, what's going on in maintenance? Raul, the vertebrate mechanic, doesn't like Quincy. The head of maintenance. Those two are always getting into it. I don't think it's a case of professional rivalry, neither. Anyway... Raul's an arrogant ass, but Quincy's an okay kind of guy. I hope he wins in the end. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, what can you tell me about the Medlab? Medlab's been taken over by an enclave egghead named Shruber. Mean son of a bitch. Doesn't care nothing for nobody. He's been on some sort of... Doing some sort of experiments on Deathclaws down there. Don't know what, though. Anyway, he was making all kind of noise until the... Commander ordered his room soundproofed. That's interesting. Anything else happening? Nah, that's it around this place. If I hear anything more, I'll let you know. I like talking about it just as much as I like hearing of it. You want to know? I've heard enough things. Anything else you want to talk about? I'm interested in the vertebrates. If I wanted to look at the plans where I could find them, could I find them? Why are you interested in those? Ah, don't matter. Quincy keeps them over in maintenance, I think. I see. What do you want to talk about? Thanks, I think I will get back to my duty post now. No, I didn't think of it, but what if I talked to the dog? Yeah, the door closes automatically to explain why no one hears it. When you, uh, commit acts. The life functions of my master has been, have been terminated. Are you my new master? Ha! A talking dog. Sure, you look like a nice enough dog. Excellent. I am in need of repairs, master. My motivation unit has been removed. Find it, replace it, and I will join you. Any ideas on where I can find this part? I'm not sure, master. I will try maintenance. It is upstairs in the northeast corner of the base. I'll try there. If I don't find it, I'll look around for it. Dr. Schruber doesn't have anything on him. Oh. I think that's the pass key I was, like, making a big deal about going out and finding. <laughs> I didn't realize it was right there. It, it makes logical sense that it was there, I guess. Hey, he's got, like, these medical beds and these, uh, things they have in the sheet. Looks like a medical or experimental apparatus. Looks like it's a, if it could hit a human or a larger-sized body. Yeah, that's the exact same. I remember reading that. And I'm like, larger. Like, uh... And I think I said Deathclaw or something. Thank you again, my friend. I owe you a debt that cannot be repaid. I totally killed it. Fuck yeah. Killing Deathclaw prisoners. Alright, see you later, later, lady. I wonder if you can use that nickname to sneak past her. I think that was her. Uh... Oh, I think that was... Um... You're looking at Snooker. 
I hear you're called Snooky. I think that's kind of cute. What? Who told you that? When I get off duty, I'm going to kick his ass. Move along, soldier, and wipe that snark off your face. I feel kind of bad. I didn't mean to, like, sell that guy down the river. Let's see, here's the base commander's base. Or, uh, room. I don't know if there's any way to sneak in there. Maybe I could go into combat mode. That seems to work for me. But, uh, like, I, it could be just a matter of talking to the right people. Okay, so I think this is the maintenance bay I've been in here. Junior mechanic, you're gonna, you'll want to talk to Quincy. Name's Quincy, soldier. Why are you tapping my soldier and looking lost? Hey, I need something. All right, but make it quick. I have, an inven I have inventory to do. Looking for the vertebrate plans. You know where I can find them? I've got a copy of the plans, but I just can't hand them over to anybody who asks for them. What do you, why, what do you want with them? I was told by the sergeant to get them. Look, Einstein, I can't give you the plan without authorization, right? So go back to whoever sent you and get paperwork. Hey, you got it. What the hell? I thought I had authorization. Hey, don't be reverencing through those drawers. Board. It's only the part on the back. Want? I don't even think that's used for anything. I just like the lockpicks. Good buddy, thanks for asking. At least they're letting me run around with impunity. They're not like, oh yeah, here's another run. Sorry, man, but I don't have time to chit chat, you know? I gotta get this bird working. The doc wants to fix his dog. He sent me for the part. Hey, man, it's in the locker over there. Take it and tell Doc Rell says hi. Oh, he's Raul. the initial one I went into, and this is uh, the repair bay I just came out of. There's a turret there. I uh, I took the chance to, I forgot to say this. 
I took the chance not to talk to the sergeant. But I might need to in order to get the, uh... characters are like living it okay so I was like oh I'll just go down here I bet I haven't been here and oh yeah this is a mess hall where I met the cook and there's apparently nothing in here what the heck sad It's like a table. It's just in my way. Yeah, it's all down there too. Nothing in the desk. Okay, let's see. Talk to this guy. Welcome to Camp Navarro. So you're the replacement. What's your name, Private? I'm Phoenix the Second, I guess, because I can't just tell them a fake name. What was that? Did you forget something, maggot? My name is Phoenix the Second, sir. I'm not his sir. I work for. Sergeant or Sergeant Dornan, do you understand me? Yes, Sergeant. Outstanding. Proceed on the double to the hangar where you will stand guard duty. You will do a fine job. Do you understand? Yes, Sergeant. I don't want to yell because it won't sound good. I'm going to do a fine job. I've talked to the people in there. I've talked to the people in there. Here, I don't remember talking to these guys. Yes, sir. I'm new here and trying to get familiar with the base. Can you, I ask you some questions? Certainly, soldier. Uh, what is this place? This is a comm center. From here we handle all communications with the main base and any other outputs that have been established. Alright, a couple more questions. Uh, what's your job here? I'm a comm center technician, first class. I perform supervisory duties. Mainly, I make sure the other techs don't screw up. Good, keep up the good work. Need to look at the vertebrae plans. Where are they kept? They'll be located maintenance next to air traffic control. Got it. Sir, what's your job here? I handle all communications with the main base, and I maintain equipment status. So he's a second-class comm officer, technician, comm center technician. And I, I might, I think I might have reloaded myself talking to Cook. Oh, maybe not. The door's open. Oh yeah, hey soldier, good to hear from you again. Grab or talk this time. Uh, chit chat. What do you want to talk about? I wonder if he has something to say. Where's Enclave main base located? I'm surprised you didn't know. You must be a local, I guess. Anyway, main base in the middle is in the middle of the goddamn ocean. Well, not smack dab in the middle, but. Might as well be. Only way to get there is by ship or vertebrate, and the damn ship's, ship's being tinkered with. You need a fob to operate the damn thing. Fob. Yeah, passkey. Commander keeps it in his office. Without it, you can't go off. You can't access some areas of the ship. And that keeps the locals down in San Fran from paying an unwelcome visit. Uh, where's the commander's office? Take the elevator to the next room down. Follow the hallway to the main junction and go straight. Thanks. What do you want to talk about? I'll get back to my duty post. 
Yeah, that guy, I had to reload, though, when I talked to the sergeant, because if he assigns you to stand guard, apparently he'll come by. Or he'll walk around, and if he sees you not at your post, he yells at you, and uh, he could turn the base hostile. Oh, the cook's name is Cookie. So he's just named after what he does. Hello, Master. Have you found my motivation unit? Got it right here. And please install the part, Master. Please, Master. Oh, um, okay. This way. Nice. Okay. Now I just have to figure out a way to sneak past this guy. <clears throat> your business here. I'm here to clean the commander's office. You're early. Come back later. So there's business here. I'm here to clean the commander's office. Speaking of self-commander, cleaning detail is here, sir. Yes, sir. Looking at you. Go on in. They said in an hour, so I waited an hour. Is this the commander? Someone in power armor. Make it quick, soldier. I don't have all day to stand around. Yes, sir. Leave my walker alone, or I will dish out some serious pain. Guess I'm not sneak enough. I guess that's a commander. He's like standing by the desk. I expected like uh, someone like Gizmo, like in a chair. Fine. I don't actually need either of those. Charles says you have 150. Interesting. So what do I have to do? Just wait an hour? What's it to pickpocket? Oh, it's steel. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I've explored everything. I've almost done all the quests here. Yeah, I got K9. Is he following me?
Okay, he is following me. He just, I think he got stuck behind that door. So I'm going to talk to this guy and say, um, what's, uh, I'm new. Or, uh, what is this place? This is base commander's office. This area is off limits to all personnel. I'll have to ask you to leave. I have business with the commander. What's the nature of your business? Business. Well, uh, I got a call from base security. Seems they're worried about the locker or the tanker passkey getting into the wrong hands. We're here to lock it up. Speaking to self, Commander, security details here. Main base wants that the tanker passkey secured. Yes, sir. Looking at you. Go on in. Thanks. Everybody here abides by the honor system. The fob is in the locker over there. Have the duty officer contact me once it's secured. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Oh, the base commander plays tragic. I wonder who did win him or the guy in the... The guy, uh, like, the, 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 the ghoul bartender. Gecko or um, Vic, the merchant. Somebody suggested to me I should definitely uh, play some Caravan in my New Vegas playthrough, and that that's actually kind of exciting. I'm almost done this game. There's only after this. There's basically just like there's a few more quests in San Francisco. I can I have to go to Redding. Because they're like, they're basically like slaves there. Like, they need someone to come and save them, like that Superman uh, spin-off show, Smallville. Okay, so I have the key fob. I just need the vertebrate plans. If something happens, I guess I can still go back to the beginning of the episode. Hey, name's Quincy, soldier. Why are you tapping on my soldier and look so, shoulder and looking lost? I did ask you something. I was told by a tech I could find the vertebrate bird plants here. A tech told you? You mean Raul? Did he send you? Uh, they have a rivalry, so maybe this will be bad. Um, yeah, that's a guy. Damn it! You know, Raul would lose his lose his head if it weren't place so firmly up his ass. This is the third time this quarter that he's lost his plans, and now he doesn't even have the brass bouncing balls to come to me and ask for him? Fine, they're in the locker over there. And when you deliver him, tell that asshole that I want to see him. Thanks. But he doesn't play tragic, I guess. Wasn't one of these good? That is pretty good. I need to get more suits of power armor. If they give me this much extra carrying capacity, I could have, uh... Actually, come to think of it, my people are all weird shapes and sizes. Like, three of them are, like, non-adult human size. Like, there's Myron, who's a child, and then there's a Deathclaw and a mutant who can't wear normal armor. Myron might be able to, because I think he can wear, like, combat armor and stuff. Enclave. Yeah, okay, so don't talk to that guy. I that, That's everything, isn't it? Let me, um, let me go to my pit boy Navarro. Yeah, everything's even crossed out. Deal with the Deathclaw. Okay, now I guess I'll make out like a bandit. 
I have to do something about this dog, though, because, uh... Like, it's already bad enough I have Gorus on my team. It's already bad enough I have Myron on my team. Like, Marcus and Sulik are the only ones who can properly, like, handle themselves in a fight. Gorus can handle himself in a fight. But, like, when I say properly, I mean, like... Howdy, stranger. Uh, I'm just looking around. I don't mean nothing. Can't he tell I'm with the Enclave? Okay, so there we go. That's everything in the Navarro base. Whoa, baby. I don't mean to be rude or nothing, but this here is private property. If you're going to be poking around somewhere, don't be doing it here. Okay. I don't ever need to come here again. Okay, now I'm going to go back to base. And I want to do an encounter with the... Um... Fuck. As a loyal soldier of the Enclave, I've got orders to kill you. Hope you don't mind. Damn it, Chris. This place has a lot of good random events. Yeah, it's a dead Roman. Nice. Instant kill the lizard. more interested in like the um, the sci-fi parody events and stuff shouldn't even run away. There's no advantage to it. Well, I think Flame Breath is less effective. Dog is hit for 30 I think if I get closer... go. 
And that was done with using only the single shot. I don't have to worry about timing so much anymore. Somebody's first aid. I'm gonna also do a... fuck. Oh, more fire geckos. Okay. So I'm gonna return to San Francisco and I'll start next episode off by... shuffling my companions a bit. I need to, like, I, I can't have Cyberdog. He's just a weaker version of Goris, and I want to have Goris, but I think I need to get rid of Myron. So I think maybe I'll go bring him somewhere he can be raised in a good environment or whatever. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. Uh, remember, you're in control of your own life, and have a beautiful day. Bye for now.